Hi, welcome back to Detailing World. In this video, we're going to be comparing four popular high street wheel cleaners. So you may remember a few months ago, we did a similar kind of video with popular high street hand polishers. If you've not seen that one already, I'll put a link to that up there now. Give that a check after this video. So yeah, we've got in touch with possibly four of the biggest car cleaning product manufacturers and they've kindly sent us these products free of charge to do this comparison and just basically compare all four of these products against each other. All of these are available from the well-known High Street Motor Store, so you can grab these. I'll go through all of these in more detail towards the end in terms of value and how I rate them. But quickly, we'll just go through each one. So starting over here, we've got the Wonder Wheels Original. Um, I think they do do a bleeding one, but they sent the original alloy wheel cleaner. We've got Magma from Autoglim, which is their bleeding wheel cleaner. We've also got a couple others from Autoglim, which we'll be doing in a future video, which is the custom wheels and um, clean wheels, I believe it's called. Turtle Wax have sent us their red line wheel cleaner. Again, another uh, bleeding wheel cleaner. And from Meguiar's, we've got the ultimate wheel cleaner or all wheel cleaner, should I say. So yeah, we'll go through all of these. That's also a bleeding one as well. So we're gonna be testing these on the neighbor's car. Then he's got some silver alloys and they've not really been deep cleaned for quite some time. We did give him a clean about two or three weeks ago. Um, but yeah, they do look a bit grim. So the best way I think I'm gonna try and do this to make it fair is obviously the front wheels gather the most brake dust and the most contaminants. So I think I'm gonna try and split each wheel in half, use something just to separate any overspray. It's probably the fairest way I can do this and I can do two products on each wheel. I'll leave them for two to three minutes, whatever the instruction says, and then give them a slight agitation, rinse off, we'll take a look from there. And then I think on the back wheels, I'll probably do a similar thing, but instead of an agitation, just spray on leave it for a few minutes and then rinse off and see what those results are. So yeah, we'll uh, crack on with that in just a moment. As always, if you enjoy this video, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, please do consider subscribing as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get out there and crack on.
Okay, so that's the wheel cleaners done and tested then, and things didn't go exactly as planned. We're supposed to be doing a winter prep as well today, but we've been rained off, so managed to get these done under some light drizzle, and then I had to call it a day at that. But yeah, the important thing is we have managed to test all of these for you guys. So I'm gonna go through each of these. As I say, I've done the high street polishes before, and I can't remember off the top of my head how I did that, but I think I went through every product one by one. Um, so first of all we'll talk about the packaging now this is something that i didn't do on the last one and i think it's quite subjective and it is really but i'm just going to touch on it anyway so we'll start off with the wonder wheels this looks the same as what i remember it looking like 10 15 years ago maybe longer it may have had some slight rework since but it looks okay it looks like something you will find in a supermarket shelf or basically anywhere on the high street um does what it says quite clear what it says um but yeah, the packaging itself is nice. The trigger is okay, and it's quite a nice fine mist as well. So it is nice the way that sprays on it. Evenly covers all of the car as well, so it's a very fine sort of spray pattern. It does mean you've got to get quite close, otherwise the wind's going to take it away. So bear that in mind. Next up is the Auto Glim. Now, you can spot this a mile away. The crisp white packaging just suits the rest of the brand. And funnily enough, it's been this kind of packaging for for years since I first started driving and why it's been the in thing again for the last 10 or so years so it, it just looks modern again this day and age and um, why it's just come back around um, trigger I've never overly been a massive fan of these ones on the autogram I always feel like I'm going to snap them but anyway that's beside the point really the spray pattern again a nice fine spray like the wonder wheels evenly covers the car as well or covers a wheel should I say um, but yeah, again, you have to be quite close, just to make sure you don't, um, the wind doesn't take it all away. Um, but a really decent packaging, um, and it feels nice, and it looks nice with the rest of the Auto Glim range. We're next moving on to the red line now. This is from Turtle Wax, by the way, and I do love the sort of the, the green look of this. It really nice, again, you just know from a distance whether you see this. Um, on the high street, online, wherever you see this, you know that is Auto Glim's packaging. That is like the Auto Glim green. It's got a nice chunky spray head on here. Um, a very, sort of like a nice stroke on the trigger. It's like a nice long stroke. Quite direct, and this is probably my favorite trigger of these three. So it's it comes out quite jetted like. Jetted like, is that even a word? But yeah, it comes out in a bit of a stream, but from a distance it does disperse and spray all over so you can be quite accurate where you want to spray that so yeah that one's got my favorite trigger of these four products and then next is the Meguiar's ultimate all-wheel cleaner I love the chrome uh, labeling on this slightly bigger bottle than the others as well again the trigger a decent enough trigger and it's very this is the most like accurate one this is a very pointy stream <laughs> again my descriptions are terrible but you'll know what I mean so you can be quite you know precise where you spray that and um, but it does foam and it goes quite it covers a bit of an area towards the end so if you sit stand back spray it it will cover a bit of an area um so yeah all in all the packaging like i said that's kind of trivial really in the grand scheme of things so next up then we'll go through the price i've just wrote them down in my book here and we'll just go through each of those again we'll just go left to right as well so start with the wonder wheels um, I've got two prices here, so I've got an Amazon price and I've got your favourite high street motor store price as well. So this Wonder Wheels is a 600ml bottle and this costs you £7 for that 600ml bottle. Uh, for a litre that works out at 11 66 On Amazon at the time of recording this, you can get two of these bottles for 13 99 So again, it works out basically £7 a bottle on Amazon. Auto Glim, that is a 500ml bottle, and again, that retails at £11 from your favourite high street retailer. From Amazon, it's £10 and 2 pence. So, yeah, basically that works out at £22 a litre, or if you're buying it on Amazon, £20 and 4 pence per litre. Turtle Wax one, we have this down again, £10 for this 500ml bottle. Um, which is obviously £20 for a litre from your high street retailer. On Amazon though, that is at a cracking price of just £6.50 for that bottle, uh, which is £13 for the litre. And then finally, we've got the Meguiar's, and that one is retailing at £16. This is a 709 milliliter bottle. It's American, so it's all done in fluid ounces. And I remember off the top of my head, it's 24, whoops, it's 24 fluid ounces. Yes, it is. So anyway, back to that, it's £16 for 24 fluid ounces or 709 mil, which works out to be £22 
56 for a litre. So it's actually about the same price as these two. On Amazon, you can pick that up for 14 pounds 17 or 19.98 for a litre is what that works out at. So if we went on the Amazon prices, you're looking basically, this would be the cheapest pretty much, followed by Turtle Wax at 13 pounds a litre or 6.50 for that bottle. Uh, Maguire's 19.98 for a litre or 14 pounds 17 for that bottle. And then Magma, which is 20 pounds and four pence for a litre or 10 pounds and two for that exact bottle. So on to using them. Um, I've made a few notes just in case I forget, but the Wonder Wheels one, it was okay. It was weird spraying this on. There was no suds, no anything. It just looked like you was almost spraying water on. You're not, because it does stink of wheel cleaner. It's got that traditional acidic wheel cleaning smell. Even Dan, the next door neighbor, he was around with me while I was doing this. Um, yeah, and he commented that it does smell of Wonder Wheels. You know that smell. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't, as I say, it doesn't foam up. There's no suds. Um, you leave that for a couple of minutes as we did and then give it a bit of a brush and it cleans up quite well to be fair with you. It does leave a few tar spots remaining um, but it does do the job. My thinking is that because of that I think a lot of people will use too much of this and also because of the price I think people kind of think oh I've got it so cheap I can afford to waste it. Yeah you probably can but why should you? You've bought it cheap that should last as many times as probably magma or turtle wax. Um, but yeah, on the general using of it, as I said, there were no suds, it cleaned okay and it didn't even foam up when you agitated it either. On the contactless wash then, so on the rear wheels, it didn't do a lot, so it's not one of the products that you can just spray on, leave it and then pressure wash it off. You do need to give it some agitation to get the benefits out of the Wonder Wheels. So moving on to the Auto Glim Magma then. This one was quite foamy, you did see the suds and bubbles as you spray that out. As I say, it is a quite wide spray pattern, it's quite fine, but you can see it settle. It's also by far the quickest to react as well. I think it was changing colour within about 30 seconds. And by the way, they all had about 90 seconds, two minutes to sit there and do the thing. Um, but this one was reacting very, very quickly. It's pulled a lot of the dirt off and when you agitate it, it does foam up a little bit actually. Um, it's not the foamiest or the sudsiest, um, but another plus point for the Magma is it can be used as a dedicated iron removal product. So it's not just for the wheels, you can use this on your paintwork as well. So onto the Turtle Wax Redline Wheel Cleaner then. As I said, this one, in my opinion, had the best trigger and the best sort of like spray pattern. It reacted rather well, um, it didn't go immediately red. Um, but it does change colour, you can see it reacting with the iron on there. Um, it foams up a little bit when you agitate it. Um, it does need some agitation, but again, you can leave that to sit on there. Maybe snow foam over the top of it if you want. Say any of these three here, you could probably blanket snow foam over and then just pressure wash off if you want to do a contactless wash. Um, but yeah, that brings up your wheels really well as well. And then finally, the Meguiar's. Now this one, as I say, got quite an accurate spray pattern, um, so you can aim that exactly where you want to aim it. This one is by far the foamiest and the sudsiest of the lot. It also does say on here it changes colour as it cleans, and I would say that's true. So it does change colour as you spray it on and it reacts to the iron, it does do that. But the more you clean it, the more you see the colour changing. Um, and that's obviously because it's just mixing in there a little bit more with the contaminants on the wheels, mainly the brake dust that you've got on there. And then going back to the contactless wash as well. So we these two were on the same wheel, the Turtle Wax and uh, Wonder Wheels were on the same wheel. And you could see a noticeable difference on a contactless wash where the Wonder Wheels had been, as I say, did need a contact wash. Um, to get the best out of that, whereas this you can just leave it on and the wheels come up nice and bright and silver. The Magma and Maguires, now we'll go on Dan's thoughts on this and he didn't really notice which one I'd sprayed on which side, but he picked the Maguire side um, for the contactless part. And I think he's right on that, that it did seem ever so slightly brighter on the Maguire side. The Magma, as I say, does a cracking job of lifting the iron off there. It really, really does. It's great as an iron remover and its reaction time is probably the quickest of all of these. Um, but the, I think the extra suds and the cling time and all of that good stuff with the Maguire's just gives that the ever so slight edge um, in Maguire's favour for using it. 
So you're probably wondering where I'm going with this then, and honestly, I don't really know. I'm just giving you my thoughts on four of the most popular high street wheel cleaners on the market. I do wish Wonder Wheels had sent us the reaction uh, wheel cleaner, the one that does turn red, but hey, this is the one that they sent. It would have been nice to put that against the other three. Would I use Wonder Wheels? Maybe on a neglected car or a car that I know someone's not really going to care about or look after too much and again if i just dig the price out my mind's just gone blank at i think it was seven pounds i said just bear with me a sec and yeah it's seven pounds i think joe blogs will happily pay for this bottle and they'll probably expect to get a year's worth of use out of this they'll buy that at the beginning of spring summer clean the car with it several times and you hear a lot of people talk about wonder wheels you also hear a lot of people hate on wonder wheels um, because they believe it's far too strong and far too acidic but that is for another video magma yep yeah, definitely worth buying that one at 11 pounds for that bottle not only is it a wheel cleaner but you can use it on the body of the car downside maybe the bottle then doesn't last as long if you're using it as a fallout remover as well but anyway it is like a two-in-one product it's by far the fastest reacting product of these in my opinion from what i noticed it really does do a cracking job of lifting the iron contaminants off the car i just wish it was a little bit foamier and sudsier but that is the nature of being a fallout remover as well as a wheel cleaner and then onto the turtle wax red line yeah i would definitely use this again as i said i just love the the use of it it's got that nice long stroke on the trigger as well so if you don't want to full squirt you can just half press it if you only need a little bit um it suds up okay um it's not as sudsy as Maguire's, but yeah i would definitely use turtle wax and then the Maguire's, that one is 16 pounds for that bottle now if you saw the Maguire's on the shelf next to turtle wax and auto glim chances are you're going to pick turtle wax or auto glim because their price points are at 10 and 11 pounds um, unless you're on amazon at the moment as i said that one's six pounds fifty on amazon at the moment but yeah on the high street 10 and 11 pounds for these two products versus 16 pounds now you may buy this you probably will buy this if i like i said per liter wise it is basically the same price 22 pounds per liter for those or 20 pounds for that 22 for that 22.56 for that so there's not much in it between Maguire's and auto glim in terms of the price per litre but joe blogs is buying it based on what they're getting in the basket on that day and that is 16 pounds that ball anyway um yeah a bit of rambling there it is again by far the sudsiest and foamiest one of the lot um and for that reason it feels a lot safer using that you feel like you're not going to be scratching up your alloys and it's lifting and encapsulating the dirt and bringing that away and again i keep repeating myself but it did prove that sort of with the contactless wash the Maguire's against the auto glen which i think were probably the best two um dan himself said that one had the edge so if i was to rank these as overall um not as just wheel cleaning but based on price and everything i'd probably put Maguire's and auto glim joint first and um, maybe if i had to pick one maybe Maguire's. i'm not sure but Maguire's and auto glim definitely joint first with turtle wax in a close second wonder wheels that's just my own personal choice but it has got its place it's not the worst i'm not saying it's a terrible product it does do the job it just doesn't have that sort of like sex appeal that the others have it i just wish they sent the one that turns color as well you know when it reacts with the iron i may give you a different thought then um but the way it sprays on it just looks like you can't see what where you've been um and you definitely do need to give it some agitation so yeah if you want to contact the swash these three so yeah that's my thoughts on these products for you guys so there we have it then that's the four high street wheel cleaners all done then as i've said before i hate ranking products because by definition you have to pick a winner and a loser and um, they all have the pros and they all have the cons so yeah make of it what you will it's just my experience my thoughts and you guys take away what you want to take away from that i'll put links to all of these products in the description below there are amazon affiliate links so if you do go ahead and buy that we get a little bit of kickback from amazon at no extra cost to you guys if you've enjoyed this video then please make sure you smash that like button and if you're not subscribed to this channel already please do consider subscribing as well if you'd like to see any more of these high street kind of product videos let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see we have done the high street hand polishes one again if you've not seen that there'll be a link in the top of the video now there'll also be links in the description as well 
Also, don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Detailing World Official. You can also check me out as randomly set for the behind the scenes and all of that good stuff. And finally, one last plug. If you do want to help support the channel, you can check us out over on Patreon at patreon.com slash Detailing World. As always, though, absolutely no pressure. Thanks to the guys that are currently supporting us over on there. It really does help us out. So yeah, once again, hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next video.